hello hi everyone welcome to my channel and today we want to start by beginning the course on how to use noteworthy composer so as you can see i have noteworthy composer uh, version 2.75 a2 uh, open on my desktop um, on Noteworthy Composer, this is um, software that is used to compose music, to write music on staff notation, and it is very, very efficient and gives very colorful and wonderful scores. So to start, we might need one to do some, uh, to view some of the features that uh, not where the composer has uh, as you can see there are several toolbars here <clears throat> there's this toolbar on top which has uh, the file menu uh, icons that have been uh, given there as a shortcut there is also the the staff notation and uh, notes staff staff notation uh, uh, clave key signatures uh, time signatures or rests all of those have been given on a different toolbar there is also another toolbar for the notes uh, and also the accidentals all of these you can see them on top here down here you can see the piano or the keyboard toolbar that has this uh, wonderful piano down here then here you can see the files that you have opened once you open several files you see them lined up here uh, then here we have uh, the status status bar this one that when your song is playing you can see the status or the progress of that song so um, the most important thing to know about uh, these toolbars is that uh, not where the composer has so many uh, shortcuts. Once you point or you hover over one of the icons, it gives you the name of that icon and it also gives you the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut that you can use to access that note or that icon. For example, the natural accidental you can see there that you press uh, key number seven on your keyboard it gives you direct uh, it takes you direct to a natural accidental uh, if you go over the whole duration you can see that it has been set the shortcut has been sh set to one the half duration this is the shortcut is two if you come here the new file is control plus n all of these keys that you see icons that you see here the clef, the clef selector will be a C, the key signature selector will be a K, the time signature will be a Q. All of that, all of those icons have some shortcuts which have been there. Now, uh, for the toolbars, if you want to remove or add toolbars, you can go to the view menu and then you go to toolbars and you'll see the list of toolbars and you can check or uncheck the toolbars that you need and the ones that you don't need if you want to add a new one like the, the node selector is not added you can just click on it you check then you say apply and you can see it appears here uh, it appears there if you want to remove it you just uh, click and check on it and it disappears so that is it for this uh, lesson uh, for this session we just wanted to know the appearance of a uh, note where the composer uh, the version is always written down here and this is the working space once you start uh, working once you start uh, working on a file or writing a score it will appear here so the next uh, lesson we will learn how now to create a new file on Noteworthy Composer. Thank you very much for being there and for uh, listening. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video 
and give it a thumbs up thank you